Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my dad's favorite sculpting tool. And that sounds kind of funny, but when I was a kid, if he'd take me fishing or show me something in the shop, he'd always have like a favorite sculpting tool or when we were fishing, he'd call it the magic lure <laughs> because he had this one minnow lure that was his favorite lure. He said he caught the most fish on, he'd call it the magic lure. So he's kind of one of those guys that has a lot of experience in what he does and he really knows what's a good tool to use to get the job done. So today I'm going to show you what kind of tool this is and what's so special about it. So let's take a look at this tool here. The number 210 wire end modeling loop tool. You can see it right there. This one was 1850 plus shipping, of course. And I got this from Arizona Sculpture. Uh, it has the Sculpture House manufacturer label. I got this one from Arizona Sculpture. You can find cheaper sculpting tools on Amazon or these other websites, but if you want a really nice one, I'm not gonna lie to you, I would go through Arizona Sculpture like I did. So there's a couple of reasons why this is my dad's favorite sculpting tool. Number one is the two different ends here. You can do a lot of different stuff, just about everything you need to when you're sculpting an oil-based clay with these types of loops. Now something else that makes this really nice is that one side of the wire has teeth on it. If you can see those teeth, both ends have it. And what that means is, let me show you on this rabbit sculpture, I could take the side without teeth and I could just make it really smooth when I carve. Or I can turn it around so I can use those teeth. You can see how I have some of those like grooves. That's gonna help a lot when you have a lot of clay to cut through and uh, you know, you wanna get through fast and then you wanna go over and what my dad likes to do, this is kind of his trick, is he'll cross hatch with the teeth and then he'll go back over and smooth out the clay. Here's a different camera angle of the cross hatching. If you don't know what cross hatching is, it's used in all forms of art from painting, sketching, drawing, and it's sort of like making a tic-tac-toe pattern. So what's so nice about this tool is one end of it has that straight, flat, wide edge in the wire loop. And that gives you an easy ability to make a nice cross hatch or just flatten out a surface if you want. Cross hatching is usually used for rounded surfaces, but you can also use it to flatten out a surface as well, as I'm going to show you here in a minute. Let me get the block of clay out to show you a little bit better how this works. What you can do is you can use the teeth. And you can see that pattern it makes. Cross hatch with those teeth. And what that does is it kind of leaves like these little bits of clay and it kind of breaks up the clay so that you can work it with your hand then you can go back over and smooth the clay out and then if you want to do the finishing touches you can flip that over so you're not using the teeth and you can carve it more smoothly you can see there so this clay uh, you know when it's at room temperature and it's hard it does take some muscle to carve through you could soften it up by heating it up, but you really want a good tool like this to use on it. If you're trying to get into places where you want to add definition for muscle or other grooves, you know, like you can see a little bit of the rabbit's leg muscles here. If I were to use this end, it would really come into handy because I can kind of use that circular edge and then I can add that definition. I might go from one side, and then switch back over to the other side.
then I'll make like little dips with this tool. You can't see it well now, but after I smooth it out, because of the camera, you know, it's going to kind of give you a certain effect. Here's a different camera angle with different lighting to give you another view of how you can use this rounded edge to your advantage when sculpting muscle structure. You can get another close up here too of how the teeth are on one side of the tool while the other side of the tool has no teeth. The trick to creating good muscle structure in a clay sculpture is just giving the impression of where one muscle meets another muscle. And it's a little bit harder than you would think, actually. For a lot of artists, uh, they do struggle with this. That's where those little dips come in. Then once you're satisfied, you just smooth out the clay with your fingers or thumb, and then you can see how the lighting from above complements that shape, and it just barely gives you the impression of the muscle. You can see here now you have that dip, okay, and that's where this really comes in handy. You just have to practice with it. It's kind of like what I said in my last video, practice makes perfect. Uh, watching demos all day, you know, will teach you some things, but it's great to save that uh, for when you plateau with your skills or your ideas. You know, you want to add some more creativity or Add something new after you've been doing this for a while. So both sides of these tools have the teeth. And you can also create a texture and just leave it like it is with those teeth. But like I said, my dad likes to crosshatch. I'll show you up close what it looks like with the teeth. Using the rounded end of the tool will virtually give you the same effect of crosshatching, except you can make more curved surfaces rather than carving out flat surfaces. You can see that. And I don't know, it just makes the clay a lot easier to work around with your hands when you do that. It just breaks it up, you know. To make this tool last longer, because it wasn't cheap as you saw, I'm going to use this epoxy and epoxy the ends. If you haven't seen my video on that, check that out. I'll put a link to that video down below. I'll put a link to this epoxy too and the tool at ArizonaSculpture.com. This is wood also, by the way, and actual metal. It's sort of like a handmade tool. Just really nice quality. It's really lightweight. It's not heavy at all. It's almost like some sort of balsa wood. Just so you know, it, you know, you're not going to wear yourself out using this. This tool will make sculpting easier for you. You don't want the tool to make it harder. You don't want the tool to wear out your hand muscles. You have all these little muscles in your hand. And if you're sculpting all day, you know, moving the clay around like that, you're going to feel sore. Or, I mean, at least I have when I'm working on a large sculpture all day, you know, so... You want the tool to make the job easier. You want it to get the job done. That's what dad always taught me. <laughs> so maybe that's why this is his favorite tool because this tool gets the job done, especially on those larger pieces. And he does a lot of large monuments. We work on, you know, full size people, animals, that sort of thing. And you need a good tool for that sort of project. So that pretty much covers it for this tool. Try one out, and you'll be pretty surprised at what you can accomplish with it. Well, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Fritz Hoppy on YouTube if you haven't yet. I want to wish everyone a happy Father's Day. Obviously, this was kind of like a Father's Day special. If you want to check the tool out, I'll put a link down below to Arizona Sculpture. So far, they've been a great company for me. And what's really awesome about them is they have high quality stuff. It's really hard to find good sculpting tools. Also, check out my video on how to make your sculpting tools last longer. Because with those wire and loop tools, they come apart and break really easily. I've seen other YouTubers talk about that too. But there's an easy fix for that, so I'll put a link to that video down below as well. You don't want to invest all that money to have your tool break on you. So that should help you out a lot. Thanks for watching today. I will see you all next time.